Hey, it's me, Bubba Daddy 3, and welcome to my Let's Play of Pac Man and the Ghost City Adventures. The version I'm playing is for the Wii U, but it's also available for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. One thing I don't really like about this game, just to start up, as you can see, I got to delete my current save file to start a new game. And well, I pretty much start a new game just so you can see the story, even though there's not really much of a story. But, I wish there was much of a save file. But anyways, I decided to uh, let's play Pac-Man the Ghost City Adventures because I thought it was a decent game to well, kind of start out with, even though this isn't my, technically my first let's play. But, I explain more through the solo part of the game. But anyways, you can see Pac-Man and his friends to help out, out through this journey. Uh, Cylindria in pink, Spiral in red, and the one with the big nose is Circumference. They don't really play a big role in the story or in the game. Maybe there's a small exception to Cersei who pretty much teaches you the basics, but that's pretty much it. As the story is pretty much defeat um, Betrayus, who is the main villain of the game in the animated series. Now those who watch the animated series probably already know that the voice actors from the, this game is not the same from the TV show which is kind of disappointing because I prefer the one on the TV show better and for those who don't keep up with the TV show and wondering why Brinky, Inky, Pinky and Cry are helping Pac-Man they're pretty much sick of betray so they're pretty much spies for Pac-Man and try to help him defeat the betray and there's the president who's Pretty much mostly for comic relief and the cartoons. Yeah, um, my first let's play was technically Soccer Wars, which is was for those who think about starting let's plays. It's probably best not to start with an RPG, even though I'm probably still new at this, so. Maybe it's just me who is uh, pretty bad at commentary, but hey, I'm going to still give it a try because I want to do this play. My second one was Quinoa, which I almost finished, but unfortunately my Brep account was taken down and wasn't able to finish it. I wasn't even able to upload any of the old footage. I got some of my videos back, some of my reviews, but unluckily not all my reviews so, are, was able to be downloaded, so now I'm thinking about redoing most of them. But anyways, back to the game. Uh, Pac-Man got his basic jump and eat ghosts. He doesn't need to find a power pack to eat ghosts, he can just eat ghosts right away. Uh, this Pac-Man is actually the son of the original Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man. So, just in case there's any confusion why right? Pac-Man is a teenager and not a family man like in the old cartoon and maybe some of the older games. I never really played Pac-Man well, but I heard those were pretty good as well. Now, there's lots of generic ghost enemies. The pink runs into you. The, um... The blue one draws slime at you, I think, or ectoplasm, whatever the technical term is. And Pac-Man right now can only jump and eat, pretty much. The gameplay reminds me of the Mushrooms, also for the Wii. And well, if you haven't played the Mushrooms, I don't blame you. It's it's a good game, but it's kind of like one of those um, titles that you won't be able to find unless you re. Um, just browsing around, like at a GameStop, and decided to give it a try just because of the concept. But pretty much the most of is Pac-Man combined with Cowboy, a decent game. But anyways, back to Pac-Man. See, uh, the game actually controls pretty well. It automatically log on to the closest ghost. Without any e, without any problem. Uh, so see, I already know how to do all this. 
I beat the game already once before. I decided not to um play on the original save file like I did what I mentioned before. I couldn't play most of the stories back, even though the story's not really that well important. If in fact it's kind of a left that at the end. But we'll find that out once we get to it. Hopefully if I finish it. But it's an easy game so I should be able to breeze through it real quick. Now the city we're in now is pretty much Pac's hometown, it's called Pactopolis. It's pretty much your generic city, nothing real memorable about it. But it's pretty decent, the graphics pretty much look like a GameCube game. But it's a, to be fair, it is a cheap game, currently it's $40 as, as of this recording. So I think it's a decent price. Maybe wait for it to get lower if you're still not that in interested in it. But if you're looking for a decent platformer or something for your kids, I would recommend this game. Now you see one of the powers up is the ice pack. Pretty much frees your enemies. The lock is pretty good. You get a, a um, pretty good distance from it. Um, not the best, at least in terms of the powers, but it's um, doable. Now, you, you don't have to eat all the ghosts unless um, maybe in certain areas, but I just like to um, eat the ghosts just in case, even if it's already frozen. But you don't have to eat all the ghosts. You can well, except for that one, you have to eat all the ghosts to activate that lever. If if you don't, the stream will come down. Yeah, pretty much this is pretty much teaching you all the basics. Sorry if I'm not showing off all the ghost moves. Is this well? This game is pretty easy, but it gets harder on the later levels and. Yep, to answer your questions, you can also freeze waters to create some platforms. I thought that was a pretty neat idea. And that pie that Pac-Man ate gives you an extra life. And I kind of like the little cutscenes. There's different animations, but it doesn't happen t too much. No, as you just saw there, there's a fire ghost that you need the ice power to defeat. Once you cool it down, then you'll be able to eat him. But if you eat the uh, fire ghost without the um, freezing it first, it, you um, use an ice power or a life, depending if you have the power or not. But yeah. This is pretty much the soap part, but we're almost done with this game. The, I can't wait to show up all the other parts. Uh, they're much better. But that's pretty much um, almost Pac-Man as a whole. Now, I'm kind of thinking about we're doing some of my other reviews, like the Munchable, this is pretty much like Pac-Man. I wasn't able to say that one and press my other reviews. I might not go back to Kronor as a let's play. And to end the level to eat that fruit. That's pretty much the the main goal of this game. Eat ghost, eat the fruit, we want to the next stage. Now there's one more thing I want to show off first, well, after we show up the next location, but this is pretty much the hub world, you can talk to all the characters that's on the TV show, it's really not much, it's just, um, it's just a basic talk and get some, well, not so useful information, they don't give you any hints, this is a, well, pretty much generic comments 
like keep up the good work and you can do it you know pretty much all that basic stuff now you probably noticed in the background there's some arcade machines you can also find some tokens throughout the stages and you can put some of the mini games on there which they're actually pretty good they give you extra replay value you don't have to complete the um, game to complete the uh, i mean the, you don't have to play the um arcade game to complete the whole game but if you're looking for something extra to do that's pretty much a nice bonus well i think i'm gonna end it here hopefully i did pretty well see you when pat may go to to the second stage of the first world this is me baba 33 and i catch you later